friends, you guys know what time it is. It's time for another video here on Tech of Tomorrow. This time, the top five cool tech ideas for under $200. Not $150, not $50, not $15, but under $200 for you people out there who've got a little bit of cash and still want that cool tech idea. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the top five under $200 here on Tech of Tomorrow. The first product up today is something that can help solve all of your Wi-Fi problems in your home. If you live somewhere where your Wi-Fi is weak or you're just not getting the performance you want, maybe it's time to upgrade that router and get everything going. Now, the router that we're gonna be checking out today, this is the Linksys WRT-AC3200. Now, obviously, there are a lot of routers out there for you to choose from, but what separates these from the others is their TriStream 160 technology. Now, what this does is this double is the bandwidth and it's the fastest dual band of any router on the market. It also features Moomimo technology and this provides blazing fast Wi-Fi speeds and it does this to multiple devices at the same time without getting a degradation in your speed. The AC3200 is also open source ready. It features OpenWord and DDWRTS for complete flexibility and customization. Linksys also has a new smart Wi-Fi app and this is used to manage and monitor everything in your home and your Wi-Fi from your devices, anytime and from anywhere. Internally, the AC3200 has 256 megabytes of flash memory and 512 megabytes of RAM memory. Now this helps deliver improved data transfer speeds and allowing you to do more things at faster rates. The design of the AC3200 is also very nice. Looks kind of like a little blue and black spaceship. You guys can see in the front, it has all kinds of different lights which tell you what's going on. And as we move to the back of the AC3200, you guys can see on top that there are a lot of holes on top to help radiate all the heat away from it. On the back, you can clearly see there are two antennas in the back, two on the side. And then on the far left, there's a reset button for all of your Wi-Fi. Then there's four ethernet connections and internet connection. Now, USB 2 is a standard USB 3.0 port, but USB 1 doubles as a USB and an eSATA port. Next to that is the reset button, the 12 volt power adapter, and then last but not least, the on and off switch. All right, folks, so there you have it. Product number one, the AC3200 router from the people over at Linksys. If you have any type of problems at all with your Wi-Fi or you're just not happy with the speed, this is something you want to seriously consider. Right now, it's on sale for $50 off, make it under $200. And hey, it's a cool product. If you guys know Linksys, they're very easy to hook up and use, and they're very user friendly. So now let's move on to product number two. This next product is definitely something for those people who are always on the go and have an active lifestyle. This is the Tick Watch 2. Now this will work with both iOS and Android devices, so if you happen to be one of those people you just snub your nose at anything Apple, you can have your own Apple Watch, just not made by Apple. It'll be made by the Tick Watch 2 people. Now with that said, let's check this watch out because I think at the end of the day, you guys are gonna think this thing's pretty doggone cool. The features are nice, you can see it in broad daylight and it's very comfortable. So with that said, let's check out the Tick Watch 2. And really, does the tick wear the tick watch? That's the pits! First off, there are a few different colors of the tick watch too that you can get your hands on. The one that we got today, this is actually the one that's black. I think it works perfectly because it matches everything. To me personally, the biggest thing about having a tick watch too or an Apple watch or anything of that caliber is the ability to take care of everything for your daily life, your health, your needs, your notifications, everything all on your wrist. Now, obviously you're still gonna have to have your phone with you somewhere, but you have to admit that having everything right on your wrist to access is much easier. And the way that you access things in the Tick Watch 2 is very, very cool. All you need to do is slide your finger around the side of the edge and a lot of the options are available. Now, I haven't really seen this on any other watch. They may have it on some other things. I'm the biggest watch guy in the world, but that to me is highly convenient. You don't have to worry about pounding any buttons, pounding any screens. You just slide your finger around the edge and then you can access all the programs and things that you want to do. One cool thing with any of these actual digital watches that I like is the ability to change the face. So if you get bored with the face on it, you wanna change it, heck, you don't have to go out and buy another watch. You just simply change the way the face looks. You can have it digital, you can have it analog, different kinds of looks, anything to your custom way that you wanna see it. Now, for some people, this might just be like eh or meh, but to me, I think this is a really cool thing because if you get bored, hey, you can just change the way it looks and when you get bored with that, change it again. Another feature of the Tick Watch 2 is it actually comes with its own wireless charger. That's right. All you have to do is plug in the charger to the wall, set your Tick Watch 2 on top of it, and all your charging is done wireless. This is not only cool, it definitely falls into the tech of tomorrow category. 
To navigate through all of your information and your apps, the TickWatch 2 actually comes with its own unique TickWear OS. It's already installed inside the watch and you don't have to mess with it whatsoever. The TickWatch 2 really features three things. It features simplicity, quality, and craftsmanship, and it brings all this to the table for under $200. So if you're a person out there, you're looking for a smartwatch that can handle all of your daily activities, you can program it to do whatever you want, you can monitor what you want, monitor your walking steps, everything you do in the gym, your heart rate, everything. So pretty much anything that you're doing on your daily life can all be monitored through the TickWatch 2. I wanna hear what you guys have to say down below. I'll be looking for your opinions. This next product, you guys know the company, it's Creative Labs. They're really known for all of their sound cards and all that type of stuff, but they've now developed and pushed their company to all kinds of gaming peripherals, including keyboards, mice, etc. So let's check out their latest keyboard and see if it attracts your attention. The Sound Blaster X Vanguard K08 SE Gaming Keyboard comes in black. It's currently on sale for $159 and it has a lot of features that you guys are going to like. Now, obviously, most keyboards are going to be somewhat alike because it's not like reinventing the wheel. You can't say, hey, here's this wheel, it's a new wheel. So a keyboard's layout and that kind of stuff, it's pretty much kind of set in stone. People move a few things around, but beyond that, you guys know what a keyboard is. Now, the Vanguard K08 SE is also not a mechanical keyboard. It's a gaming keyboard, but it has its own Omron switches. Just like me, the keyboards that we've seen lately, like the Tesoro and the RealForce RGB, every single one of these is having its own switches. So what's going on? Are cheery things just going out the window? Because it seems kind of weird that everybody's coming up with, hey, we've got our own key switches. Now these switches feature double cross point technology for over 70 million fail safe keystrokes. So you know this thing is going to last a long time. All the keys in the KOASE feature responsive tactile feedback. A low 45 actuation force and short 1.5 millimeter pre-travel distances offer rapid fire input yet silent keystrokes. So for you people out there who prefer the MX Blue switches, I think you'll be very comfortable with this. They don't make any noise whatsoever, so you don't hear that clackety, 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 clack, which a lot of people find hmm, just annoying. With 26 key rollover anti-ghosting technology and low profile keycaps, you get accurate commands every time. One feature that I know you gamers out there are seriously going to like is that the K08 has 109 fully programmable keys. What? And it also has dedicated media controls, so operating your music and your movies is very simple as well. RGB lighting is something that has become very subjective. Either you totally dig it and you're into it, or you're like, hell to the no, I don't like that. Well, luckily, you can turn all the lighting off if you want, but if you like that stuff, this K08 comes with all of its own software to totally program all the lights, 16.8 million colors, so if there's a color out there, you can find it. And for you folks out there who love to have an extra USB connection on your keyboard, hey, the K08 SE has a single USB port located on the back. Another nice feature about the Vanguard K08 is it actually comes with its own wrist rest. So for you people out there that that's a caveat, it comes with it, you should be in the Happy Campers Lounge. All right, tech fans, so there you have it. The Vanguard K08 SE keyboard, not mechanical, but still very, very nice. Now, personally, I didn't get a lot of time to game on it, Jesus did, but from what I've seen, it was very, very quiet. And to him, keyboards are pretty much all the same. So he's like, hey, it's like all the other keyboards, it works well. Like we really haven't found a keyboard yet. We're like, I hate this thing. So in that respect, it's pretty much on the same level. If you're a fan of Creative Labs, you're looking for something that's really cool, under 200 bucks, hey, this is a cool one to check out. Okay, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I know that the mass amount of my audience is the hardcore PC gamer guy. The guy who loves a giant PC, lots of liquid cooling, multiple video cards, PC strength. But what about if you don't really need that? What about if you got a big TV in your living room and you want something in there that's not gonna be obtrusive, it's gonna be able to just sit in your living room and not really be noticed, the stick PC is the ultimate thing for that. Now today we're gonna check out a bundle from the people over at Azul. It's pretty cool, it's under $200. And heck, I think if you're one of those people who just couch potatoes out, you wanna check your email, surf the web, do all that stuff, but you want the convenience of not even be able to see it, have it out of sight and out of mind, I think you're gonna like this. The bundle that we're gonna be checking out today is called the Quantum Accent LAN Windows 10 Fanless Mini PC Stick Bundle with the Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard K400 Plus. Damn, is that a mouthful. First off, let's talk about the stick PC. 
Now this is marketed as the only PC stick in the world with a LAN connection. Now this feature is pretty cool however, because say that you have the wireless problems that I was talking about earlier when we were talking about that Linksys router. Well this thing will eliminate all that because you can actually hardwire plug it in and you don't have to worry about any of that Wi-Fi signal degradation whatsoever. That in itself is actually pretty cool. Now under the hood of this mini PC stick is a 64-bit quad-core Intel Atom Cherry Trail processor. The PC stick also features two USB ports so users are easily able to connect their wireless keyboard, mouse, printer, camera, or any other external device. And the features don't stop there. With an embedded Intel HD graphics card, 8th generation, it allows users to enjoy high definition 1080p video playback all from the stick. The Access Plus Mini PC stick comes in two different flavors. 2 gigabytes of RAM with 32 gigabytes of storage or 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Unfortunately, there's no 64 gigabyte storage model available at this time. But with the added micro SD slot, it's definitely not the Achilles heel of this product. And for you folks out there who need totally hands-free connectivity, this bundle does come with the Logitech K400 Plus wireless keyboard. It's laid out very nicely, it's easy to use, and if you just want something that comes in a bundle, don't have to mess with anything whatsoever, this bundles the e-ticket. And best of all, you can get both these devices for under $160 right now, so that's a pretty cool deal. You're looking for something that's totally unobtrusive? This is it, baby. All right, folks, now last but not least is the Google Home. Now this particular device I actually got from my girl, Shan. She came over and for my birthday, she kicked me down this really cool Google Home thing. Now, what the Google Home is, it's basically a speaker that's also voice activated that works with the Google Assistant to control every single solitary smart device in your entire home. And it's all done by voice activation, that's right. All you have to do is go up to it and go, hey, okay, Google, and it'll be like, Yo, what up, bitch? What you need? Why you bugging me, man? Like, I'm a robot. I don't want to be messed with. I need my own personal space. No, it's not going to say that, but I thought that shit was pretty funny, so I just threw it in there. But basically, what the Google thing is, is that it controls your entire house, and it doubles as a speaker as well. So you can be listening to your music through it, doing all that stuff, but if you have any kind of devices in your house that work off smart technology, they can all be controlled through this device. And like I said, you don't have to worry about doing things on your phone or anything like that. Like that unless you want to. Everything can actually be done through the Google Assistant through this little tiny speaker. Now I know that's a whole lot of stuff to talk about all right there, so let's get in and let's just show you guys just a little quick little shot of how this things work and then we'll talk a little bit more about it in a second. So let's go. Okay Google, turn the lights in the living room red. Sure, changing three lights to red. Okay Google, turn the lights on the living room green. So all right, folks, there you guys can see it in action. You can control all of your Philips smart lights. Like I said, you can control your TV. If you have any other device in the house that actually is smart technology, you can control it. And that's the big thing about the Google Home. Now, personally, I've only had it up and working for a couple of days. And I will say, it's kind of interesting. I think there are some things that they're still working on to make this thing like the total Uber ultimate thing. They're competing very much with Amazon's Echo project, which is kind of like the same thing at the end We'll attack, sorry, at the end we'll actually have to see who wins the battle, you know, of who the smart home king is going to be. But for under $200, this is a really cool and nifty device. And if you want to be able to brag to all your friends and go, yeah, man, my house is smarter than yours, well, shit, this be the product, my man. So that's it. Top five for top, look at 10, 10, 10. I feel like we're watching an old movie. You guys probably don't mean it, but it's like the 10 commands movie. The guy had 15 tablets in his hand and he's walking and he drops these all. There are 15 commands and it drops these all. 10, 10 commandments. Do you guys know the movie? Let me see. It's Mel Brooks. I'll give you a hint. Leave a comment down below and I'll give you a free game to the very first person who catches that. But like usual, all of the information about these products will be down below that like button. Hopefully you guys know what to do by this time. You can Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, your style, Bruce Lee. What the hell? You can even go RoboCop. Your move, creep. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. All the information will be down below that. So if you need more information, want to check out pricing, or just educate yourself some more, do it. This is Elric on Tech and Tomorrow. Be here for more tech tomorrow.